Thank you so much for joining me for another Woman Crush Wednesday. Today we're going to travel back to the 1700s. So have you heard about Voltaire? I hope so. If you have, you should have also heard about his uh, occasional lover and companion, Emily du Châtelet, who is the subject of today's Women Crush Wednesday. Number one, Emily, born in 1706, is considered by historians to be a genius because of her strong understanding of math, science, language, philosophy, and her great understanding of Newtonian physics as well as other branches of science. Emily accurately predicted infrared radiation as well as the nature of light. She was one of six children. She was the only girl. And her father, uh, because she was the only girl, really wanted to um, focus on her education and make sure that she had an equal education to her brothers. Fact number two, because she was a woman, she obviously was not allowed to go to school. So she actually ended up hiring a lot of different private tutors. Her father worked for the French royal court. And so that really helped because she did have access to a lot of different people and wealth in order to do so. Emily was so frustrated by the fact that she was excluded from so many different scholarly institutions because she was a woman, that one day she dressed up as a man in order to enter the infamous Grado's Coffee House, which was basically a salon in which people would, men would gather in order to discuss different things that were going on around the world, as well as science and philosophy and math. Of course, they recognized her as a woman as soon as she walked in, but they allowed her to stay because of her boldness and her strong grasp of the topics that they were discussing. Fact number three. In 1740, she published a book called Institutions de Physique, Lessons in Physics, which was basically written as if she was talking to her 13-year-old son um, and teaching him about philosophy and science. This book challenged a lot of the current ideas behind science and philosophy during the time. This book and the debate around all the different ideas that she brought up in this book allowed Emily to finally achieve one of her goals in which she was allowed access to the Academy of Science of the Institute of Bologna in 1746. Fact number four. Now we're gonna go back to Voltaire. So Emily and Voltaire had a very long lasting collaboration and occasional relationship throughout her life. Uh, Voltaire often got in trouble with the law because of his controversial ideas. And so Emily would very often bail him out from lots of different situations. At one point during their relationship, Emily and Voltaire teamed up with statistician Charles Marie de la Condamine, who also happened to be an Amazonian explorer, who ended up calculating the size and shape of the Earth. And what they actually did with this, statistic with this statistician was determine how to win the French lottery. They ended up actually getting it right, and Voltaire managed to win over a million francs, which ended up funding the rest of his life and career. Outside of her relationship with Voltaire, Emily actually had quite a few other relationships. She was married to a man with whom she had three children, and she also had quite a few other affairs. Historians speculate that her husband knew about all of them and wasn't really that bothered by it. In fact, Voltaire and her husband were actually quite good friends. Fact number five, Emily fought very vocally throughout her life for women to be included in science. She lived a very full life, but unfortunately in a sad turn of events, she ended up dying due to complications after giving birth to her fourth child. Emily's work was very influential to science. A minor planet as well as a crater on Venus are named after her, and there are actually three plays and an opera that are written based on her life. Thank you so much for joining me for another Women Crush Wednesday. To learn all about the incredible Emily, please join me again next week right here for another look into an incredible woman's life.